So the cat lounge has been a success. The cats love going outside. In fact, they're often at the window crying and whining because they want to go outside. The problem is it's summer right now. It's humid and muggy and the air quality isn't great. And so we can't leave the windows open all the time. So the project that we're going to be working on in this video is building a space indoors that the cats can enjoy as much as the outdoor lounge. All right. So here's the sketch that I worked on this afternoon uh, along with Moa's input. Basically the castle is just going to be four boxes. There's a box here, that's the center, the main part of the castle. There'll be two boxes here, a box on top. So basically this is just a, a little playhouse for them, a little fort. Um, we have to figure out how big we're going to be making this. Um, on the inside, this is going to be the main structure. and. Um, I'm going to build this first because once I build this, I'll know how the other sides will fit together. So let's try to build this first. Um, I'm going to need to draw the pattern. So even though I only have two walls to this box, the cats are already curious. This is a good sign. Alright, the next thing I'm going to be working on is this little door uh, that will be on the top half of one of the sides of the central part of the castle. Also, one more thing, I'm going to try to cut the door on the front part of the center of the castle. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, here's the front wall, and there are the doors that will open on those natural hinges. So the cats will be able to come out, and it's kind of funny because one of our cats will be able to probably get in this way as well. Um, Mel, the one that has three colors, the ta not tabby, but what is that called? The, she's brown and white and black. Anyway, that cat. She's pretty smart, and she knows how to use her hand to like open doors, and she's actually opened handles on doors before. So I think she'll be able to get into this, no problem. But as for Coco, the stupid one, I don't think, I don't think she'll be able to get into here. So she'll only be able to get out. But that's okay, because on the side towers, um, she'll be able to get in. There'll be little doorways there without any doors, so it should be fine. All right, so now we are going to, I guess, I guess... I guess we're going to screw this together now? I don't think I'm... Okay, so here's my idea for the shelf um, that'll be inside and kind of give the cats a second level to play on inside the castle. Now, if I just put a board here, the cats sit on it, they're too heavy, it's just going to collapse. Even though there's screws on there, it just fall through. So that's not going to work. So I'm going to make this support. And then what I'll do is, I think in the center here, I'm going to make this actually come all the way down to that. So it'll actually have a support. This stuff is pretty sturdy, um, but I think with the cat's weight over time, it will bend and then eventually just collapse. So we're going to work on this first. Okay, so this looks pretty good. Um, this fits in pretty snugly. There's a little issue here where when you open the door, you see the floor there. I didn't put the window in the right place. I should have put it higher. 
um, but that's okay. I think what I can do is actually just cut this in a triangle. I think what I'm going to do is cut from here to this corner here. So I'll just put a little mark, and that way the cats still have a place to sit and lay, um, but they have space also to jump up. I kind of made this somewhat small. Um, I could have gone a lot bigger with this box. I have a lot of material, but we don't have a lot of space in this apartment. We're kind of limited. So I think this is a good size, and I think they'll like it. this is gonna work as I'm building it putting all these things and I realize it's getting smaller and smaller and this as it is now would be perfect for like kittens but uh, for full-grown cats it might be a little small yeah I'm not sure we'll see But we need to make some changes. Uh, originally, the cat design, the cat castle design was like this. <clears throat> it had the shape of a cat, which was going to be a second um, building <clears throat> on top of the main building. And it was going to have eyes, or it was going to have windows cut like eyes, cat eyes, inside the building. And it was, the idea was the cats would be able to go up into a second little box on top. I don't think that's going to work um, because the way I've designed this bottom part with the, the roof and the way the, the pillars or the struts that kind of support everything are positioned, I don't think it can take more weight. I don't think I can put another level on here. So I've got to change some things around. So what I've done is I've sketched something new here. I like this more. It looks more like a castle. Um, it's got these two towers on the side which are taller than the main building, which again is a little more castle-like. Um, I want to make the towers rounded, which, which poses some issues. Um, because originally I wanted to do the towers like this, which are octagons, eight-sided towers. Um, but if I do that, um, it gets kind of tricky because, for once, it's reducing the area uh, inside the tower. Because the cats are supposed to be able to climb up inside the towers, that area is going to be really important because you have to be able to have it, you know, put it in half and have a shelf that the cats can climb up. So... The second idea I have, and I think the one I'm going to go with, is something like this. So this is just sort of like a quarter of a of an octagon, but I want to try one first and see how it looks, if it's going to be like it is in my head. That might be a little bit too big. I didn't want it take up this much room in our small apartment. Let me see what Moa thinks. Hey Moa, can you come in here and check this out real quick? quick little update here. Um, it's looking pretty good. Here is the side tower. Uh, you can see it's inset a little bit here, which is what I wanted. Unfortunately, the screws are visible here. There's nothing I could do to avoid that. Um, it's connected with these two uh, strips that go down and are drilled in this way, and then I drilled in into the strip. Uh, that way it's pretty solid. It does kind of, you know, 
bend a little bit backwards, but against when it's against the wall, I think it would be just fine. I like it. It uh, actually looks a little bit more like a cat chateau. Alright, so I just got that uh, shelf in here. There's some support there, so this is pretty sturdy. I'm going to do the battlement next, and Moa here is working on... Nothing. I'm just playing myself. She's just, she's just playing around. We got this material. Um, this is just felt, really, really very cheapy felt. Um, but we are going to do some experimentation with using felt on this material. Um, to do some decorations, we might do some banners, like hanging from windows. We might also do like some stones. Ooh. I was thinking, <laughs> you, you okay, Coco? Stop. We might also do some vines. I was thinking coming up, uh, but anyway, we'll we'll decorate it later to kind of flesh it out a little bit more. regular like white glue, Elmer's glue. Uh, it's not Elmer's, it's a Chinese thing, but a white glue to do the uh, gluing of the felt onto the castle. But that's not ideal. We need a glue gun. Um, I lost mine recently, so I bought another one online and it just arrived today. So let's go pick it up, get a breath of fresh air, and then finish this castle. <laughs> finally finished it. We're probably going to add some more additions 
as time goes on and we figure out what they like and don't like about it. But we've got it here. We're going to unveil it and then we're going to let the cats play with it. So here it is, the long-awaited Cat Castle. Very difficult to get the <laughs> shot, but Mo also made oh. these clothes for them, Maybe you can just pull which have their initials on the capes. Anyhow, that was a fun project. We learned a lot. Hopefully, the cast will enjoy it. I think they're still getting used to it. So, as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.